Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful collective. Welcome to First High Visions. My name is Q. If this is your first time coming through, welcome, my beloveds. I'm a Scorpio. I'm an empath. I'm a clairaudient, and I am intuitive. So I do incorporate music into my readings, and they tend to blend very well with the tarot cards. Right now, we have internet. I got an attitude. So some of y'all might be in the, um, might be a little frustrated right now, right? Might be a little aggy, might be a little testy right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing the word fire. So some of y'all are like really on your in your bag right now about something. Somebody like really frustrated you, and I got a couple of runaways. So let's see what these messages are. So it looks like whoever you were dealing with, um, whether these were karmics. Whether this was family, there's some sort of yoke that has been broken. I feel like you broke some generational curse. You broke free from some sort of mind fuckery. I feel like there was something that was going on. And I feel like it was like you just flipped the script. You know what I'm saying? You got an attitude right now. Like somebody really um, brought that stinger out of you. I feel like for many of you, um, with this protector of uh, yourself, uh, wear your protective jewelry, amulets to ward off evil. This was people that was like secretly plotting, planning, praying on your downfall, frenemies, enemies, foes, people smiling and beguiling in your face. And I feel like some of y'all noticed the forked tongues. You noticed that people's words wasn't bond. You know, like you noticed there was a lot of lies, a lot of deception. And I feel like once you realize that, that's what led for you to... Um, you know, break the karmic cords or cut some, some, some sort of karmic cord or the yoke um, that you may have had, you know, binding you to this type of energy. Um, I feel like um, with this energy here, be healthy. This is what you did to make sure that your surroundings were... Um, you know, comfortable for you. Like you can't be around no fugazi energy and think that you have these healthy dynamics. So I feel like you started to cut these karmic cords and break free from these yokes. And that's ultimately making, you know, your um, your environment healthier, but it's also um, nudging you to make healthier connections, like to build connections with people who are on your wavelength that speak your language, people that you don't have to save. So I feel like for you all, you also could be like incorporating a lot of, um, you know, like a lot of healthy uh, exercise into your schedules. You're doing yoga. You could be doing African dance. Some of y'all are doing Zumba. Some of y'all are walking and jogging. Some of you all purchase bikes, um, you know, and you're doing more activities just to encourage, you know, health and wellness, which is most important. I feel like a lot of y'all are also, um, you know, I'm hearing some of y'all are like cutting down on your meat intake. Some of y'all have stopped eating, you know, you've stopped eating meat. Like maybe you made a vow like, OK, after Thanksgiving, I'm done with meat. I'm going to just go completely not vegan, but you're just going to be more vegetarian based, you know, in terms of your eating habits. Um, so you're doing things to be more healthy. I feel like y'all was dealing with a lot of childish energy, very immature, you know, unable to carry conversations without it getting to, you know, a 10, without it becoming, you know, uh, a verbal dispute. It's like you simply was trying to have conversations, hold conversations, and these individuals, because of their insecurities, would automatically turn a small thing into like a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, turn a molehill into a mountain and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like y'all also, you know, had to disconnect from that because you noticed how it affected you. You know what I'm saying? It, it not only affected you in terms of your attitude, but it affected your energy. It irritated your spirit and it was just exhausting. Right now we have, um, I just want to chill by large professor. So yeah, that's what you came to realize. Like, look, I just want relationships, connections where it isn't so like, so dramatic, so trauma filled, so, so extra. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, you just want to be able to chill without the drama, without the nonsense. You didn't want to have to have these debates. Um, you didn't want to have to have those discourses with people. And so I feel like you just like completely severed the ties. Um, once you realized that you was dealing with some like immature energy, a lot of you all was seeking 
like wise counsel. Maybe you were going to the elders in your family, asking your grandmothers, um, your aunts, or even your own mothers. You know, some of you all were just seeking guidance. Um, you know, maybe some of you all turned to scripture and were seeking some sort of guidance in regards to how to deal with certain people or how to handle certain circumstances and even to just pray over yourself. Because as we see here with this, wear your protective jewelry, amulets, ward off negative energy. You was feeling and picking up energetically the toxicity that was around you. And being an empath, um, you really grew sensitive to those relationships. And so you were seeking a higher sense of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in those regards. This card, someone was being greedy. Somebody was just around you for what they can get, for what they could take from you, from what they can, you know, how they could come up. I feel like this was someone who felt entitled. I feel like this was someone who didn't put in what they was expecting to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, you know, and it was just five, five, five on that clock. So that reduces to 15, 15 reduces to six. So this person definitely brought you out of equilibrium. They affected your finances as well. And this person was pretending to love you, pretending to care. But this person was only focused on chilling, hanging out, taking what they could get from you and, and going and doing whatever it is they wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like this is somebody who had other expectations. They weren't committal. They weren't committed. They was just a user. All right, so this was just the channel messages and all these cards came out. So let's go ahead. Look at that. You got this twice. So you absolutely have been doing a lot of work, spiritual work. You all are like, you know, um, absolutely in the craft, whether you are uh, healers or shamans, light workers, um, you're magicians, you're alchemists. You know, some of you all are clairaudience, clairvoyant, psychics, intuitives, channelers, scryers. Some of you all have music, musical skills and abilities. You know what I'm saying? Some of you all have the ability to see. You're a seer. And I feel like that's what led to you breaking some sort of karmic cord, lesson, yoke. Um, and even a generational curse. We have Code of the Street playing by Gangstar. So many of you all, you know, you was dealing with somebody who was really not keeping code. And when you keep code, that means you stay on code. And staying on code is just standing firm on your square. Like once you, you know... Um, once you take an oath that you're going to do something, so say, for instance, you're in a relationship with somebody, they, they, you know, even if you didn't get married per se, some of you all were in, um, what do you call those marriages? It's like, it's, um, give me a moment. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, but some of you all were like in a common law marriage where you were together for longer than five, ten years. And so it was like that person made an oath to you whether they did it on paper or just the, the just the fact that you all lived together and were, ch you know, planting seeds and roots. It was like they made an oath to you. So it was like they didn't keep their end of the bargain. Somebody kind of dropped the ball in that regard. So I feel like, you know, a lot of you all had to learn um, a lot in regards to self-love because I feel like you was dealing with somebody who I'm hearing trickster so loud in my mind's eye. It was like they were screaming at me the word trickster. So this person was someone who kind of like was gaslighting the whole way. This was someone who wore a false mask, somebody who was parading around, pretending to be something that they simply wasn't. And it was only only so that they could get what they wanted, so they could do what they wanted. And ultimately, I feel like a lot of y'all submitted your will uh, because you were trying to allow um, for there to be peace in your home. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of you feminines felt like being submissive would be the way to go because it would allow for your masculine to feel more empowered or encouraged and all they did was take it and they abused you know that power so i feel like you know to some degree it was like once they abused the power um they would kind of like you know it was almost like there was this sense of a bargaining effect it's like yo if you love me you would do this and that and it was just like you know some of y'all fell for the okie doke but it's all good because i see nothing but you you know clearing that cycle out learning the lessons cutting the yoke breaking the curses and so this is a beautiful energy here so let's go ahead put these back in because they fell out during the shuffle but before we go any further you see how spirit be talking to me i ain't even get into the the whole spiel you know what i'm saying get into my spiel <laughs> 
But for anybody who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I'm an empath. I'm a squirrel. I'm, I'm a Scorpio. I'm an intuitive and I am clairaudient. That's why I listen to music. I incorporate it into the readings. Um, this is a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Don't try to force a story to be your story. Um, check your other placements, your moon, your rising. Check your Mercury, your Venus, your Mars. Um, just check your other placements because there could very well be a message there for you. Um, this will be a timeless reading so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video that's exactly the divine timing intended for you to do so so beloveds let's go ahead call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters <laughs> deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high God, our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, the vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I paused in the middle because I was trying to hear what this song was. Um, and it's a Janet Jackson song. And it's called Come Back to Me. So somebody wants you to come back to them. But what I'm seeing here is they want you to come back to them because you was their security blanket. Like you was their nest. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who wanted to run free. You know what I'm saying? And so you was like, okay, bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't begging your motherfucking ass to stay. So you let them run. You let them fly free. And now this person is like wanting to come back. And they only want them to come back what appears to be for, you know, whatever the financial situation is. This person's crazy and deranged. And I'm hearing over you and over this situation. And they're crazy and deranged because I think that this person thought that they was always going to have some sort of control over you. They was always going to be able to monopolize situations. They was always going to be able to play these games, this you know, play these little mind games, mix signal. And that's like, you know, that's true, like narcissistic fashion to play the ghosting game. They love to play that shit. And I feel like you let that person play that shit by themselves because when they left, it was like that was a, the, you know, the, the nail that hit, you know, that that um that was the nail that um oh my god that was the nail in the coffin <laughs> That was the final nail in the coffin. Okay, thank you, spirit. So I feel like this person gets like, they get a little tongue-tied and twisted around you because they see that you've changed. They see that you're like in harmony, man. Like they don't even know how to come at you because the person they was used to manipulating, the person they was used to being able to deceive, the person that they were so used to being able to gaslight and mind fuck, it's like you're not that person no more. It's almost as if you've had some sort of like, you, you've ascended, you know what I'm saying? And because you've ascended is you're unaffected. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they want you to come back to them because now they're missing everything. You know what I'm saying? That they didn't appreciate before. It's like now they're realizing after dealing with all of the, the duds out there, all of the, the dun -da dunts out there, all of the bird brains. Now they realize like, God damn, I had a whole dime. I had a whole earth angel. I had a whole beautiful spirit, beautiful soul in my presence and I couldn't recognize it. And they couldn't recognize it because they was being fake because they didn't know who they were. But y'all are having a lot of like joy, you know, in your life, elation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it could be because there's a new love interest that has entered your life. If they haven't entered your life as of yet, trust and believe your near future is looking very beautiful. It's looking bright, beloved. <laughs> it's looking bright and you heard it from me. Like this is going to be a spiritual union. A spiritual union is something that, the, you know, it um it evolves into marriage. It evolves into a long-term commitment. This can be someone that you're going to grow old with. You know, and I don't even like old. You're going to grow fine as wine with, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to become refined together. Many of you all started to do things that would kind of like cut cords, break generational curses. Like some of y'all started to listen to your intuition. So we got a couple of cards that wanted to be expounded upon. So a lot of y'all, when y'all started to do your due diligence to cleanse yourselves, to purge, to purify, to clean, clear, cleanse, you know, to release whatever wasn't serving you by doing these and implementing these means of spiritual baths even some of y'all used eggs you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't know what the egg cleanse is and the egg is simply um you take an egg of course you have to um 
cleanse it, you know, with your Palo Santo, your sage, whatever. And then you 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 hold the, the egg in your hand and you demand what you want of that egg. And then you simply start, you know, um, speaking your intentions, like remove all toxic energy, all faulty belief systems, banish all evil spells, and you work from your crown all the way down. You know what I'm talking about? And so a lot of y'all started to implement that as well. A lot of y'all started to incorporate Florida water um, into like clearing, you know, cleaning your home, um, you know, smudging your home, cleansing your home. Some of you all started to like uh, incorporate that Florida water into even your spiritual baths. But I feel like this was what assisted in you breaking yokes and generational curses. Some of you all, I'm hearing dragon's blood. Some of y'all were working with dragon's blood and dragon's blood is a very powerful um, resin and that also um, could also have been you know incorporated in your um, in some of your practices to cleanse yourselves to release negativity I feel like this was what allowed you to see through the illusions through the lies through the deceptions you started to see things for what they truly were the yoke has been broken so now you're no longer in the illusion you're no longer trapped in the confusion and so you started to notice people was talking to you with forked tongues they was fake and fugazi you know what I'm saying and now but this energy, it's like you're remembering who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? You're remembering those dreams that you put on the back burner so that you could nurture and care for this relationship, for your family, for you to build, you know, and, and um, you know, plant seeds and roots with this person. And they didn't appreciate that, nor did they reciprocate this gesture. Because while you put your dreams on the back burner, they wanted you to invest in theirs. And so a true uh, partnership, spiritual union, or a true power couple, they're going to feed and nurture you and you feed and nurture them and you both blow up at the same motherfucking time but there's no just worry about my dreams while you put yours in the back burner so this person definitely kind of you know led you astray in many ways but I feel like now you're like almost like recapturing um you know you're recapturing this this love uh, whatever that hobby was whatever that gift whatever that skill whatever that talent it's like you're you're re um inventing yourself or you're re you're reapproaching um this you know with a fresh pair of eyes and it's like you're growing more in love with it now and i feel like you know with this dream somebody's also seeing that you're absolutely wish fulfillment bam shining star you are so i do feel like this person is recognizing like damn you got a lot of talents and skills things that they were sleeping on you know what i'm saying and it's not even that they were sleeping on it it's like this person knew always this is what attracted them to you initially was the way that you shine so bright but somehow they enveloped you with all their darkness and then your light was kind of like dimmed and I feel like once you disassociated yourself with this person it was like you remembered your dreams and your dreams could lead to some sort of like stardom like you could become a star you could be in the spotlight you could achieve your goals you could manifest some sort of blessing there's wish fulfillment here as well because I feel like you all started to recognize like you had to heal thyself and in healing thyself you learn to love thyself and in loving thyself you now know thyself and now you know what the fuck you ain't going to put up with no more and this is the type of shit that attracts people to you because how you treat yourself is how you're teaching people to treat you and self love is always attractive people love to see a woman or a man that takes care of themselves a, a sister loves to see a brother that's dapper and debonair that's what makes a woman be like god damn that's the initial attraction is how you take care of yourself if your nails is clean and shit if you got you know if you got um you know good clean white pearly teeth you know what i'm saying it's the self maintenance that really draws people to you and i feel like a lot of y'all was doing a lot of healing you was transmuting a lot of pain you was getting rid of a lot of hurt and you was reprogramming yourself by unlearning all the bullshit you know what I'm saying? That you've picked up during developmental years or even during this toxic relationship. Just all the mind fuckery, all the gaslighting. You started to unlearn all of that by breaking free because 
That's what the spiritual bath is. This assisted you in being able to come back into alignment, come back into yourself where you're now grounded, balanced and in a line. So now that you are shining, you're shining because you've learned to co-create with spirit, co-create with source. You've learned to transmute the negativity, turn it into something positive, And therefore you've turned your pain into power. And now whatever you've learned to do or whatever you focused your intention on or whatever skill, talent, gift that you started to hone whatever this dream is, it's going to assure some level of success, opulence, expansion, abundance, prosperity. There's infinite supply that's being granted to you. There's a wish fulfillment here. And this is why it's coming in. This is beautiful. I love this. I love it. Wow. And I'm hearing these are your messages. So they're telling me to keep these. And now you have... Um, your love is one in a million. So now this person's learning after the fact just how special you are. I haven't even seen what song was playing in a while because I was running my mouth. So right now we got <laughs> we got D'Angelo and he's talking about one more again. So somebody wants another chance. They want to come back to you like Janet Jackson was saying. Why? Because they realize you're rare. You're a rare breed. Like there's not another Scorpio out there like you. There's not another you out there. No matter who they was dealing with, no matter how big a fat ass is, no matter how dope that man car was, they did not they did not hold a candlestick to you. They could not because your beauty is deeper than the physical. It is skin. It is soul deep. This is your spirit that they are attracted to, that they love. This is the way that you love and nurture them. This is not something you just bump into every day. You ain't going to just bump into that shit on Facebook dating sites. You ain't going to bump into that shit on some random social media site. This is someone that you meet once in a lifetime because this is the one in a million type of vibration. These are the type of people that it's rare. That's a rare breed. That's not somebody that you're just going to stumble upon. It's just simply not because most of the mofos are taken. So it's like you, for them to have let, had you and to let you go, they're like kicking themselves. That's why that regret and all of that shit was there because they was really deeply regretting their actions, deeply feeling foolish. You know what I'm saying? And it's because you have love and happiness. Why? Because you found it in yourself and you attracted what you are. Your beauty in every fashion of the word. This is what this person is finding out after the fact. They didn't realize they had a whole dime piece of jewel, fucking ruby. In their presence. And they thought that shit was just like fake glass or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else done picked that shit up and they about to cash it in. That's crazy. So they had you and let you go. Let you slip away. I'm going to get one more message. Because all the messages chose themselves. But I want to get one more. And which, what did I say? <laughs> Guilty conscience. They feel regret, remorse. This person, look. We got more money, more murder. And this is by AZ. So this person, remember the greedy card. They was being greedy. They wanted more. They didn't appreciate what they had. So this person wanted somebody. Maybe they got distracted by somebody who they thought had it better than you. Like I said, 22, 22. So that's 44. So that 44 is the 8. Now they're realizing that you're wish fulfillment. Now they're realizing that you're the star. Now they're realizing because they're recognizing you come up. Like you having some level of success or there's something that's growing in your life where they're like, they're paying attention. They're watching. They're watching from the sidelines. They're in the background and they're paying attention to something you're doing, whether they have been, um, you know, they created some sort of dummy accounts or maybe they're going through friends, you know, that you all may share mutual friends and they're getting information through them. But this person's now feeling guilty. All right. And they're not resting well at night. This person's suffering from like, you know, insomnia like a motherfucker because they when they go to bed, all they see is your face. When they go to bed, all they hear is your voice. You know what I'm talking about? Like this person is really going through the motions. And it's because now they see just exact, you know, like what they had. Man, they had something rare, man. You know how that feels like to have something so rare and then you just let it go? That is a pain that you'll never get over because you'll be kicking yourself in the ass for the entire time, for the rest of your life. Because it's just like it's a foolish mistake. It's something stupid. 
And it's because you didn't appreciate what you had and you let something beautiful and precious slip out of your feet, um, slip from your fingers. And so now we have redemption. They watching you have some sort of redemp redemption. You know what I'm saying? And this is the sweetest joy. I always hear the sweetest revenge as well because it's like somebody that sleeps on you because they don't see your worth and value. And then you, you know, because the Scorpio is absolutely good at, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's like when you doubt their abilities, oh, they're going to prove you wrong every time. That's why it's very interesting how people tend to, you know, when they have you, it's like, how do you not see what Scorpios are capable of because I know when you met them they've already they like they've taken steps to level up so it's like maybe you wasn't moving fast enough for them I don't know but it's like this person now is kicking themselves in the ass 24 24 that's 6 6 that's 12 which reduces to 3 so they kicking themselves in the ass for that fucking third party that they was dealing with and they want a reunion with you you know what I'm saying I guess whoever they had, because this says more money, more murder. And um, I feel like, you know, whatever that situation was, whoever had this this money, maybe that person was like superficial and they couldn't live up to that person's expectation, expectations. So they had to end that connection. It just simply, it didn't take them nowhere. So they thought they was going to be able to ride your coattail to get to the next step. And then it was going to level up. And that's not the way it works. It's like, you're going to get exactly what you put in. And if you don't put in shit, you ain't going to get shit out of it. And that's exactly what happened today. So whoever they thought they was going to go and have this happily ever after situation and scenario with that person, that karmic got tired of their ass. Or maybe that person was painting lies and illusions because your person was wearing a mask. So they attracted another person that was wearing a mask. And so they was being fake together. And so that whole shit was an illusion. It was a fucking fake ass. Look at this. The death card. You and your power, beloveds. Scorpio's always in their bag. Scorpio's always standing erect. This is showing how much you have like evolved. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like there was a, a point in time where you shrunk in this person's presence. And I feel like they encouraged you to do so because they lacked secure, you know, self-esteem and secure they were like insecure. So anytime, and this is this is a Jew, and this is a very simple Jew. It's like if you're in a relationship with somebody and they don't want you to be great. They want you to dim your light to be in their presence. Get the fuck out of that relationship because that's not somebody that you should ever be with. Somebody that loves you is going to encourage you to be your greatest versus, you know, the greatest um, and best version of yourself. They're not going to encourage you to shrink in their presence so that they can feel taller. That's some bullshit. That's an illusion. And that's the way this person could have been gaslighting you in the past. And I feel like you realize all of the lies, the deception. You even saw that this person was wearing a mask and that shit turned you completely off. And to the point where you was probably looking at yourself like, what kind of fucking dupe? Well, how the fuck this mofo duped me like that? Like, how did they get away with this shit for so long? And it's because you love them. You simply love them. You love them, Scorpio. That's all you did. But you love them to a fault. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was to your detriment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like, at the end of the day, as I said, whenever you have to dim your light so somebody else will feel special or feel, um, you know, capable that, that's just simply like, that's toxic, man. That's toxic. Nobody should ever tell you to do that. And so we got this death card. So you've cut this shit off. You've ended it. You've released it. You got this dagger. So that means you chopped away all the shit that was in your way, that was blocking your blessings, people, places, and things. This shit wasn't easy, but you've transformed tremendously. And by you making those you know, transformative changes and by you evolving, you know what I'm saying? This is now changing and shifting your vibration, your energy, and you're going to attract what you are ultimately. So divine spirit, of love and light. So we have the eight of wands. So you're going to attract somebody. Somebody's moving in quickly, man. I feel like you're going to receive some sort of phone call. I feel like this person's going like wine and dine you. Y'all going to take dates. Y'all going to do like, you know, date nights and stuff like that. Watch movies. And I feel like because this ladder, I feel like there's potential for this like to develop into something that's going to, like I said, evolve into like marriage. So this is really going to take you to other heights. It's going to like take you to the next level. And that card chose itself. It literally just flew out. So I feel like, okay, there's two cards that flew out. So this eight of wands. So this is you being active, proactive. You know what I'm saying? And by you being proactive to purge whatever negativity, you know what I'm saying? Whatever curses, hexes, yokes, whatever it was that was, um, 
you know, that you had, you know, affecting your ability to, to make, um, you know, to, to make movement or to have movement in your life, whatever was kind of keeping you stuck and stagnant and, and kind of keeping you confined. I feel like you, you was proactive. You know what I'm saying? You took action. You did your due diligence. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you're leveling up because of that. So whatever moves you made, I feel like it's, it's leading to some level of success. It's, it's helping to grow and build, um, you know, your stability a little more so to speak. But I also feel like this is a relationship, a partnership where somebody is now going to be able to come in because whatever was causing the delays, the blockages, it has since been like repelled. That shit has been exercised out of your home, off of you, banished. And now there's movement. Now somebody could come in. Now that what you deserve and desire is um, making its way to you. And we have Lee Morgan and this is called Dear Sir. So I feel like somebody is going to pen you a letter or they're going to simply come in and visit you. This is someone I feel like you feel comfortable with. So this could be past life love where you felt a connection with someone, a chemistry with someone. And there was something that transpired in that relationship. But it kind of like there was this runner's chaser dynamic. And I feel like this person is catching up to you, getting up, you know, getting back acquainted with you. Or maybe there's just you coming into a connection with someone that you have a dynamic with um, them where it feels very um, safe you know you feel safe with them um, you feel like you know them um, you feel like this sense of familiarity if you will but I also feel this communication somebody might be communicating out of the blue next we have the eight of swords so you got the eight and eight and the eight vibration is that eight um, you know that's like an infinite possibilities so I feel like you never gave up hope like you didn't give up hope um, you remain resilient you know you continue to work on yourself you continue to do whatever you had to do to change you know your own vibration because you know you understood or understood that you attract what you are. So if you're broken, damaged goods, then you go on track the broken, damaged mofo. And so that's why you took the time to heal and clean and clear and work on yourself. You took the time to break those yokes, banish all negativity. You got rid of shit. A lot of y'all, you know, got rid of furniture that you may have had in the home with that person uh, so as not to have that residual energy just lingering. And so as to like make a new space, uh, you know, be have a more inviting environment So for someone else to come in so with this eight of um swords i feel like with this you ain't got to lie this is exactly you know someone being deceptive you know gaslighting you telling you a bunch of shit that they know good and damn well that shit is a lie you know what I'm saying? Like, there was no truth. There was no merit. And so I feel like you was able to see through the illusion. And I feel like for a long time, you was, you know, deceiving yourself with this shit because this person knew how to manipulate. This was a master um, manipulator because you see here, this looks like a devil to me. There's all this third party shenanigans. So you, you knew that this person was creeping around, sneaking around, may have had some sort of third party. And the third party doesn't necessarily have to be another woman or a man. It could be a job. It could be something. It could be family members, mothers, friends, whomever. But there was someone else that was interfering with this connection and they was lying to you whenever you would address them. So because you was highly intuitive, you would address this person and confront them about certain things that you wanted some clarity on. And all they would do was lie through their forked tongue. And so we got to the point where these games was it just simply wasn't cutting it for you. And so that's why you ultimately cut them free and out of your fucking life because it was like I it was exhausting. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with somebody who's just lying all the fucking time. Like, that shit is exhausting. You know what I'm saying? I never understood why a grown motherfucker be lying. <laughs> like, I, I just don't understand it. I'd rather hurt you with the truth. You know what I'm saying? Than appease and please you with the lie. Like, I'd rather be very honest and frank, you know, about my shit. Like, if I'm not feeling you, I'm going to sit your ass down and be like, look, this ain't working. I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm not in love. Or I'm just going to be transparent. Like, I feel like we are growing apart. But just sitting and lying and just... I just don't understand that, man. I don't. So with this death card here, yep, you cut that shit off. Cut them out of your life. Moved on. This is major change, transformation. This is you evolving. This is the death of a circumstance. The ending is done. It's fin. Stick a fork in it. Ain't no going backwards. You know what I'm saying? This is you moving forwards, upward and onwards. And it's because some of y'all caught this person in lies. Knew that they was cheating around, creeping around, sneaking around, sleeping around. Doing all type of fuckery. I mean, but at the end of the day now, it's like, 
like shoulda, coulda, woulda. They feel like, you know, your wish fulfillment here. And I feel like a lot of y'all, once you cut this person off, soft, uh, cut them off. It's almost like you had this grand epiphany, like you was just getting a flooded with downloads. Like, remember that dream? Remember what you love to do? Remember what you used to have so much fun? Do? It's like you started to like focus back on your dreams. All the things that you was put into the back burner, as I said, because you was in this relationship so committed. You know what I'm saying? And now there's a dear John. They might call you and, and apologize and want to explain. You know what I'm saying? Baby, baby, please type of conversations. And I feel like, you know, for y'all, y'all are like, you know, you want to bigger and better. You know, but you also aren't with the shits. You know, this right here, she ain't fucking around. She ain't playing no more. And this is if this is masculine, he ain't playing no more. He he don't want to hear that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't turning like putty. You know, they don't they, they used to be able to manipulate you and they they, they gonna see very quickly <laughs> like you ain't that person no more. You know what I'm saying? So why his dreams don't forget them here for our beloved Scorpios? Ah, uh, death came right back out. So this is what happened. That death of that relationship, that connection sparked you to go right on back to whatever it was that you enjoyed because the, the divine was pretty much teaching you like, look, transmute all that hurt, that pain. Because when you have the death card, it's like you went through something painful. You didn't just transform because you wanted to because Scorpios are fixed signs, which means we don't like to change. When we're in it, we're in it to, to the wheels fall off. And then when the wheels fall off, we're going to pull over to the side of the motherfucking road, put some new bitches on it and continue the mission. But with this mofo, the shit they did to you, it was like, oh, no, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not going to be nobody's fool. Once you realize, like, once it's in Scorpio's face, like, okay, you cheated on me or you lied on me or to me or you deceived me, you betrayed me, you backstabbed, you was, what? That's when it's done. So it was painful because as we know, you love this person, but you had to turn that pain into power. And what you did was you learned how to co-create with source. You started to master that craft. You started to hone those skills. You started, you started to sharpen your sword. You started to study. You started to just build your wealth of knowledge in whatever this field is. And right now we have 30 something. So I feel like some of y'all may have just turned 30. You know, some of y'all might be in your thirties. This is by Jay-Z and this is from kingdom come. So I do feel feel like for many of you all with that 30 reference it was heartbreak you know what i'm saying i'm feeling like the three of swords energy and i feel like that's what led to you transmuting that negativity into something very powerful you turned your pain into power literally and figuratively some of you all started to make music some of you all are musicians some of you all are writers some of you all could do something you know what I'm saying? Because with this dreams, don't forget them. And it says it's more than something you wake up from. Believe. I feel like this was something that you may have like, eh, I'll never make it. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Because you had this da -dun -da -dun in your ear talking about, yo, you know it's kind of hard. Like kind of trying to like, you know, kind of lead you astray. They didn't believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And it's because they was fearing that you'd be successful. And now that you're, they're out of your life, you're starting to see like you absolutely always had this ability and they knew that and you just didn't believe that about yourself but you absolutely got something coming in and also that 30 that references like that that solar plexus your solar plexus is really like you know that's where a lot of your strength you know what I'm saying? Comes from, you know, that's where a lot of your, in, you know, that's like your second brain. So you get gut instincts. You listen to that inner gumption and it's going to lead you on the right path. And I feel like that's another reason why this dreams is here is like something was nudging you and, uh, and you know, encouraging you uh, to, to follow your dreams, um, to follow your path. And so now we got this hermit card. Somebody's sitting here and they're going to have to look at this. This is the energy, the hermit mode. I feel like this could be your energy, whether feminine or masculine. And I feel like this is what you all did with the shining star. You know what I'm saying? Because the shining star comes out, um, you know, the star comes right after uh, the hermit card. So I am feeling like many of y'all went into hermit mode to do this healing. You went into hermit mode to master this craft. You went into hermit mode to go to school, to study, to build your wealth of knowledge, to seek higher understanding or to seek higher knowledge. I feel like that's what you all did. And you also realize like, you know, a lot of the internal work is what helped you to heal. It's what helped you to release and to purge. It also helped you to remain grounded. You know what I'm saying? To not be so up in your head, having people gaslighting you and mind fucking you with their words it's like you learn to be more grounded you learn to be more 
in the moment, I, I suppose, is, is, is the way to look at it. But I feel like it was something that, you know, caused pain and hurt. You know, whatever this third party shenanigan was. Like I said, it could be a pro I'm going to start elaborating third party shenanigans because a third party doesn't always have to be somebody cheating and lying. It could just be somebody giving their time and energy to something else other than you. And so I feel, you know, for this situation, it's definitely another person that was in the picture. That's just my perspective. You all know your story. So you go with it the way you understand it. Take, you know, remember, eat the fish, spit out the bones. All right. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like you started to reflect. You started to do your own internal work. And, you know, that's what that star energy is all about. That star knows that they have to turn their vulnerabilities into a superpower. So that's really like literally like transmuting negativity and learning how to co-create. So you all realize you're the alchemist. You're the magician. You can manifest your focused intentions into this reality. So you stop focusing on the problems and you started to focus on your dreams, started to focus on your your future, started to focus on your finances, your family, your children, you know, started to focus on things that were going to elevate you out of that funk. You know what I'm talking about? So right here, this is the mode that she was in. Hermit mode, very protective bubble, not allowing everybody to have access to you. That's really like quieting the mind. Um, you know, in quieting, you know, all of that noise around you, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes, you know, when you look for answers external to self, it can be confusing. And I feel like you really took that time to go internal. And so that's where you was able to find the truth. And so now we got coming to knowledge and this is by ramp. So that's what you did. You came into knowledge. You found the answers you were seeking in from within, you know. And so that's what led to some sort of epiphany, aha moment. That star is very bright. And maybe this was in terms of like your creativity or some sort of skill. It was like, yo, you know, you could do this. Maybe you had some downloads, innovative um, ideas to, you know, and you started to implement those things. But the name of the song is Come Into Knowledge. So you came into some sort of knowledge, had an illumination um, of, of your situation, clarity. So why is Shining Star here for our beloved Scorpio's Divine Spirit? Thank you, spirit. And so this is the seven of chalices. So, yeah. So this is wish fulfillment. This is having many options. I feel like all the good deeds, all the good work, all the hard work, all the focus, everything you did, that's leaving. <laughs> That's leading to y'all having like options after options. Like, and you're going to have to choose wisely. And I also am hearing very clearly in my mind's eye, like consider the source. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let nobody just talk. You know, because they have lips like let their actions show and prove because you've come into knowledge. So, you are no, you know, you're no fool no more. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can't be duped no more. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be completely and totally voluntarily if somebody come back and do you dirty again. So that's why you have to use discernment and you have to also consider the source. But you have a lot of uh, wish fulfillment, wishes coming through. There's going to be options here. And it's because that's how much work you've put forth. I feel like this person now. You know, they're looking back at how they treated you like an option and realizing, like I said, that you're this rare breed and that none of those options, none of those women, none of those men, none of their cars, none of their fucking money and measured up. None of that measured up to who you are. This person's coming into knowledge, having this grand epiphany. And it's a little bit too late because they were sitting around with all these love options, all these different women, all these different men, all this time that they was putting into maybe even their careers or not focusing on you or the connection, but just like you know trying to chase a dollar and i don't know if you all ever seen that meme of you know that person chasing a dollar and they fall right into their you know right into their grave you know what i'm saying so it's like you could chase a dollar all you want but none of that shit gonna go with you when you you know when you exit stage left so it's like you know you got to prioritize your life and i feel like this person didn't prioritize and now they're realizing like god damn somebody else gonna snatch that fucking dime up they're gonna snatch my scorpio up and it's my fault because I was ignorant because now they're coming into knowledge. So obviously they're realizing that they were being very ignorant in the past. Look at that. The sun, illumination, clarity. This is also something happy, like very happy, very elated, very overjoyed. This is somebody that you could have known. Um, I feel like you've known this person. I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting a sense like there's history here. I feel like this is definitely like the divine is 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 cons conspiring behind the scenes to bring this person. I'm hearing back 
back. You know what I'm saying? The divine is telling me in my mind's eye, back. They're bringing this person back. So whether this is in pertinence to a past life connection or even a, a, a an acquaintance that you've lost contact with. But this is somebody coming in and I'm telling you, y'all are going to be so elated, so overjoyed. This is like having like a bright future, having infinite supply, wish fulfillment, joy. This is like abundance. This is a very happy ending. And I feel like, look at this passion. You know, look at the intensity of this connection. And this is like chemistry. This is synergy. You know what I'm saying? This is fire and desire. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm hearing ebony eyes. So this person definitely like they're going to love looking into your eyes, gazing into your eyes. Some of the motherfuckers going to be like looking at you while they're kissing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of weird. I never like nobody staring at me while I'm kissing them. But this person is like, <laughs> I feel like this is going like trip some of y'all out because they're going to be like looking at you. And I feel like it's not to be weird. It's just like they're almost saying like, oh, my God, you know, like, is she or he really here? It's like they almost like, you know, they got to pinch themselves. You know what I'm talking about? Like, so now we got, um. We have yellow, um, yellow man, and this is called record poom poom. I can't make this up. They, they going to come back and I'm telling you, like, they going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? They going to give it to you, beloveds. They going to like, the stroke is going to be long. It's going to be super long, ladies. So prepare. And I know a lot of y'all talk about, well, I'm celibate. Ain't nobody getting it. And I'm telling you, when you and this person come into contact, there's going to be like, cause this is saying record poom poom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's yellow man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Oh, y'all better get prepared, man, because somebody is going like, you, you know what I'm saying? Your walk going to be a little different. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up, but it's the true story right here. Like, this is like, this person is like, y'all, maybe you will be the one looking at him like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? That like that first little stroke, pardon me, you know how I get when I pick up the energy, I go in. So this is spicy. I'll leave that in the disclaimer below. Um, you know, in the description box, but it's like, you know how somebody get that spot and then you got to turn your head around like, what the, like, that's what it is. They're going to wreck it. So prepare yourselves because your walk going to be different, babies. Your walk going to be different. Woo. Okay. I feel you. So why is your love is one in a million? Yeah. Your love is one in a million because you're going to put it on them back. You're going to, you're going to throw it back. You're going to be like, take that. Eh, 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 uh, uh, eh. Yeah, so y'all gonna be like, yeah, this is gonna be dope. This is to me, I feel like this is like this is gonna be like you gonna be like they best. I feel like you they gonna feel like damn you the best I ever had, but because they like your love is one in a million one in a million. And it's not just like the love, you know, the sex, you know, it's your love, it's the way you love them. You're a complete package, is what I'm hearing. You are the complete package. You know what I'm talking about? So that's beautiful. So look what we have here. We got the temperance. So this is beautiful. Temperance. Good things take time to create. That means divine time is in effect, baby. Y'all are coming into a union. Why? Because you had to heal from past pains, wounds, trauma, whether this is familial, childhood, or even just a uh, toxic relationship, situationship. I feel like there was a lot of patience necessary because there was a lot of work required to get you back into equilibrium. And I feel like, you know, with temperance, there's been a lot of angels, ancestors kind of giving you the spiritual guidance, giving you the nudges, telling you the work you needed to do. And now that's why you're being seen as your love being one in a million, because you've done your due diligence to heal thyself. I feel like you're back in equilibrium. You're very self-loving. You have self-worth, self-care. You know, you're really um, shining very brightly, very beautifully. And I feel this person now... Um, and seeing just how soft you are. Like maybe they didn't recognize it before. But you've been patient. You've been patient in this process with yourself. But I feel like you also were patient with this person. Like you didn't snap. You know what I'm saying? You ain't snap, crackle, and pop on that ass. You know what I'm saying? You didn't go, you know, crazy. You didn't get you ain't go 730 on that ass. Like you you really kept it. You you kept it on chill. You know what I'm saying? You kept it on a chill mode. You didn't let them take you out your bag. And it's 4747 right about now. And that's 11-11. So I do feel like you got a divine masculine coming in. And this person is not only going to uh, recognize your how rare you are, but they're going to appreciate you now. And I feel like your angels, ancestors, and guides, this is why patience 
you know, is a, a is a form of action. Good things take time to create. Divine timing is of essence because the divine was aligning you with the right person at the right time. And right now we got nappy heads playing by Fuji's. So now this old knucklehead, nappy headed mofo feeling guilty, right? Why? Shame. Look at this. Look at this person. Whoever they thought was going to be like, you know, the end all be all, whoever they done, you know, abandoned ship with you to go and uh, join their crew, whatever they did, you know, to go water somebody else's grass while your ship was wilting and dying. Well, look what happens. Karma Dharma, beloved. She done turned her back. He turned his back. Look how this man is grasping. So like he feels violated. He feels violent. And she's sitting here like, what the fuck am I doing here with this motherfucker? So it's like both of them made a mistake. And why? Because they allowed lust and passion. You know what I'm saying? And all of that fake shit, that fluff, all that in between shit to come in between perhaps their marriage or their committed relationships with other people. So they was doing all this creeping and sneaking. These people probably jumped the broom or jumped the gun, really, and, and, and moved in together quickly. You know, they left their significant others and jumped into a situation with one another only to discover they had nothing in common except for the sex that they shared. Now there's guilt. Look at this. Does this not look like guilt? I mean, I'm, you know, I'll wait. Does this not look like guilt? I ain't never seen a man hold himself like this. Like most men be like, yeah, I hit that, fuck that, whatever. This, he feels guilty. This, this was shame. Maybe he contracted some shit. Maybe she just revealed like, look, I'm pregnant. Or look, I have herpes. Or look, um, I'm not in love with you. I'm going back to my husband. Like whatever the fuck the case may be. This person, he feels more violated. He shrunk. The same way he made you shrink in his presence, he has shrunk in hers. Damn. You see that? Talking about karma, dharma. And this is called nappy heads. You know what I'm saying? So this person, I just feel like they, they was ignorant. You know, it was a lot of ignorance that this person, because, you know, to me, with the Fujis, they definitely abandoned, you know, abandoned you to go seek shelter, you know, elsewhere. And the shit definitely did not... Um, didn't turn out the way they in, in, envisioned and so now with this sword here you know they know the best thing they have to do now moving forward is they need to cut themselves free from this karmic situation and they also know that they owe somebody an apology you know that they need to right their wrongs even if this person does not take them back they know the best thing that they're supposed to do is to apologize you know so we have here on the bottom of the deck we got the ten of chalices look at this Talking about somebody receiving good karma, Scorpios, y'all are about to be so elated, so emotionally fulfilled, so satisfied because you're coming into a connection with somebody that is going to be a happily ever after scenario. Like you, and it's because you have worked for this by working on yourself, by getting rid of certain belief systems, by getting rid of certain habits and behaviors, you know what I'm saying? By getting rid of certain things that you knew would not serve your highest good, you know, and also dropping off that baggage. You can't come into a new relationship holding the baggage or still holding animosity and resentment. It's like, what you still mad for? And you in a whole other relationship with somebody else. So it's like, are you really over that situation? Or, you know, you don't want me to step back. You want to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? But y'all did that. Y'all fixed. Y'all y'all healed thyself. And that's what I was saying in the beginning. When you heal thyself, you love thyself. When you love thyself, you know thyself. Now you're attracting somebody that's going to make you a happy spouse. A happy house you're going to have together. You know what I'm saying? They're going to build a legacy with you. They're going to invest in you. Commit. This is a commitment. This is a family dynamic. Right now we have Up and Down by Grand Pooba. And the name of this album is Understand This. So now you understand why you had this up and down, round and round, emotional roller coaster ride with this person who was, you know, doing God knows what with whomever. Now you know. Now you understand the emotional roller coaster ride. Now you understand it all. Now it all makes sense. And it's because you weren't the only woman. You weren't the only man. I'm hot as hell in here. Pardon me. Let me drink some water. Pardon me. So let's further clarify these messages. Let's get some messages from, from the um, Kipper deck. So yeah, man, this is very interesting. So that up and down is about to just smooth out. A smooth it out. Come on. A smooth it out. 
That's what's about to happen. It's going to smooth out for you. And it's because you gained the understanding. You understand now. You understand. Look at that. What did I say about marriage? And look at this arrow. This Cupid Cupid is, is, is arranging this. Like I said, they're conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union into fruition. And that four is the vibration of 11. And 11 is absolutely that twin that twin flame or soulmate or past life love. You know, like a divine union, connection, commitment. And you're expecting this, you know. You're expecting this. You was dealing with somebody very childish. You may have found out, like I said, somebody had a child behind your back. You know, that could be this phone call, feeling guilty. You know what I'm saying? Because she probably just revealed like, look, I'm pregnant and it's yours. You know? And he like, God damn, I just met you two weeks, two months ago. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, you know, and that's how long, you know, that's how quickly they move things along. Like, they allowed the sex to, you know, make them make some foolish decisions. And they could have been under the influence of some sort of spell, you know, like... When you got to take spiritual baths, you know, it's obvious that somebody's throwing some shit at you. And so if they throwing it at you, you think they ain't putting it on whoever, you know, the karmic is, is interested in. You know, the karmic is definitely going to do something to keep that person, you know, keep that man or that woman put. And look at this child. This child won't take her ass on. So, you know, not to be. Oh, God, that was so cold. But I'm just saying this child won't go away. So either somebody was being childish. Or this is, you know, kind of like what's happening. Somebody is about to have a baby because 18 reduces to 9. 9 is the highest number of change. So maybe there's going to be some significant significant changes. Or maybe you have a child with this person also possibly. But I see great fortune coming in. And why is this fortune coming in? It's, it's being poured out to you by the divine. And this is because of what you did. This is wish fulfillment. That's 26 reduces to 8. So whatever this... Whatever this is you're doing, I feel like there's wish fulfillment. There's some sort of success and opulence. You got um Sean Price, Sean P, Rising Power King. This is called Boom Bye Bye. Yeah, so you're gonna be like boom, you know, bye. Uh, you know, if even if they do apologize, you'll you'll be um you'll be cordial, you'll be respectful, and you'll accept their apology. You know, but it's not gonna make or break you now. I feel like you know you wanted that shit like two years ago. You wanted that shit like seven months ago. You know, so when it comes now, it's like you already accepted the apology you never received. So, you know, either way, you know, I, I feel like this is more for them so that they can get through whatever their karmic lesson is. You know what I'm saying? So they have to do this. This is what they're, you know, what the divine is forcing them to do. So look at this pathway. So the pathway is opening up. Now the pathway is open up. Remember I said all of those blockages and delays, you know, that were being, you know, um, that was... Um, being sent to you by whatever that negativity that you had lingering around. Well, the pathway is now opening up. And there's a transformative time, a time of change. And this is a number 35 also. So that's eight. So there's a lot of opportunity and wish fulfillment and forward movement. Infinite supply, infinite opportunities. This is beautiful. I love that. So that goes there. So why is you ain't got to lie, Craig, here for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit? Why is you ain't got to lie, Craig, here? Why is you ain't got to lie, Craig, here? For our beloved Scorpios. See, this person, now they hush. Now they have nothing to say, but before they had so much to say. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Imprisonment. And I always feel like this is of the mind. This 29 reduces to 11. That's that same energy and vibration. And it's 11, 11 right now because it's 56, 56 on the time clock. So now we see this person's up in their head. They didn't listen to their intuition, but you listen to yours. You listen to yours. I feel like for a long time, like I said, this person was like, had you trapped and stuck mentally. They had you locked down. This is that stuck and stagnant energy. I feel like for many of you all, you know, this person may call you, you know, and, um, and it is out of guilt. And it's out of guilt because, like I said, they was influenced by the devil. There's a whole rat sitting here. So they was listening to the wrong person. They was listening to some toxic shit. And the devil was like on one shoulder. Whereas y'all could have been trying to, you know, give them food for thought. And you was on the right shoulder. And this person chose to go the lat. You know, they chose to go with the, the, the you know, not so uh, positive side. And now they feel stuck. They feel entrapped. They feel imprisoned. And this is, I'm hearing mind, body, and soul. And it's because whatever and whomever they was dealing with put some shit on them. And they too need to go take some spiritual baths and do some cleanses. They also need to do that. 
You know what I'm saying? This 2911. Now they're getting all them downloads. But they're stuck in a really dark time. And this is a part of their karma. But this devil back here. Look at that demon seed. This is like incubus, succubus. Somebody that they was attached to. That was like just using sex as a weapon. Passion. Lust. All those, you know, seven deadly sins. And, and you, on the other hand, it's like you, you felt it. So message of concern. So you may have received that message of concern. And that's ultimately what led to you cutting that person off, releasing that relationship. Y'all received something. Maybe you found an email, a text. Maybe you went in somebody's phone and you saw some shit that was like incriminating. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you all received a message from the karmic herself because she was trying to really put a fork in this connection because she wanted your person or your ex for herself or himself. Whatever the case, there was some alarming information that came through. And this was the straw, like I said, that broke the camel's back. This was the nail in the coffin. And all you did was transmute that negativity into something positive. So why is dreams? Good Lord. That was quick. And so we have here, what is this? Lovers. So yeah, this was somebody that you love, but you also found out somebody had another love. You know, and I feel like you discovered your love. You know, maybe your first love wasn't particularly a person, but it was a passion. It was a gift. It was a skill that you had, a hobby. You know what I'm saying? But this this also is telling me that you came back into equilibrium emotionally. And also like, you know, you, your your emotional side, which is the ma uh, the feminine aspect. And then your masculine side, uh, which is your more, you know, being more logical and discerning and more critical in thinking. I feel like that's also showing like, you know, what this lovers is because this is just you being in union, like some sort of spiritual union, even with yourself. But I also feel like you're coming into union with someone because you've ended a karmic cycle, toxic cycle, and somebody sees you as a wish fulfillment. And I feel like you're also not giving up on your dream of being in this type of embrace with somebody, being in a true love connection or love dynamic. We have deadly habits by gang star playing. So somebody had some some habits, all right, and it was it, it was the death of this relationship. That was the dead habit. The dead, their habit was having multiple lovers. You know what I'm saying? Multiple lovers, multiple suitors, and you deaded that shit. So that was the deadly habit. Somebody's bad habits of having lovers on the side or doing things behind your back led to the death, the ending. This is like, bye, see you later. I'm over it. But yep. So here with this lovers, the death. So we have now privileged lady, which is to me very much the vibration of that empress, emperor type of energy. So you know your worth and value, which means what? You ain't settling for less. That's why you cut that shit off. Chop. This is like Wu-Tang style. Protect your neck. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Protect your neck. You cut that shit off. You know what I'm saying? Because um, at the end of the day, you're not nobody's fool. And you're very successful. You're very abundant. You're everything a man or woman hopes for, wishes for, and desires. And it's like this person was just like... They, they, they got beside themselves because they gave up all of this for this. Wow. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But Scorpios, y'all are, are in your bag. Okay, these cards just flew out. I literally was about to look at this. Let me show you. And it, it goes and I'm going to keep it. It's, I'm going to keep it, baby. I'm going to keep it. <clears throat> so we got gift. And this is clarifying the seven of cho um, chalices and the star. So what did I say about y'all going to have some options? You're going to be gifted with some options. The 17 is the eight. So there's wish fulfillment. And that's exactly because somebody sees your worth and value. So you're going to receive tangible gifts, offers, love offers. You're going to receive, you know, beautiful blessings that just seem to just happen. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're going to have a bright future. And I feel like it's because you were treated unfairly and unjustly. Like somebody really, you know, really did a number on you, but you didn't let them destroy you. You didn't let them win. You know what I'm saying? Is why I feel like you're being blissed. Look at this. Somebody is going to really be sick over you. Um, we got adjudication. And so you all definitely dissolve or dissolute. You know, there was a dissolution of a marriage, a separation. There was a... um. 
an ending of a connection. And I feel like, you know, the divine is saying, you know, divine timing, everything happens in divine timing. But I feel like for many of you all, this is really telling me like for many of you, you, you really, um, was fair and just in this situation. And however you behaved, um, you're definitely going to be, uh, receiving good karma. I feel something is going to rule in your favor. And I always take note of these books. So I feel like for many feminines, you have learned a lot in this dynamic, in this experience with this person. You've learned valuable lessons. And I feel for many of the masculines, you too have also learned. But I feel there's just a sense that the feminines have been through very painful very painful experiences but you are standing erect and this three is showing the strength the courage and the wise dome that you had to you know that you had to in you know really embrace you know in order to overcome this but the divine is saying look good things take time to create so whatever you was going through the divine is going to make sure things rule in your favor and i feel like a lot of y'all are going to come into a union with someone and this is going to lead to marriage as well many of you are coming into a marriage um into a connection with someone and this is all divine timing and it's because someone recognized you as a rare breed you know as um you know their wish fulfillment so next we have guilty conscious and then we have this um, seven of swords, which is the self-deception. And look what this person, they feel sick. Look at this. What did I say about somebody might be getting a message from this damn feminine energy that's going to either be like, look, I got a baby. I got a husband. I'm going back to him. Or I got some type of STD that I can't, there's no cure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now this mofo is suffering in bad health. This 31 reduces to four. So I feel like they're heartbroken. I feel like somebody's heartbroken because they gave up everything for this broad or she gave up everything for this asshole. And they left with nothing because even if they wanted to go back, they can't no more because they, you know, whoever they left, it, it done moved on. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, like physically moved on, you know? And so now there's guilt, there's shame. They can't sleep. They going back and forth in their mind. And this is driving them insane. Some of them going to fuck around and be, you know, have some mental issues and shit. Because that's a lot of mental conflict, a lot of guilt. And look at this. This was somebody that they done planted seeds and roots with. And they looking back like, how the fuck did I tear up, you know, something so beautiful? You know, they realizing that you're a star, that you're beautiful, your wish fulfillment. And they gave all that shit up for this low down, dirty ass, you know, piece of, uh, you know what I'm saying? And so they feeling it. They feeling it. This is what you call karma dharma. This is what you call you get out. With, you know, you're going to get back what you put out there. What you get, you're going to get back what you do. <laughs> In other words, I don't know. But uh, you sitting here pretty and shit. Look at you. <laughs> sitting there all pretty and shit. You know your worth and value, gal. <laughs> Glowing and shit. You a master manifester. You're powerful. You're beautiful. You got your coins. You got a beautiful ass house. Damn right you're going to track some shit. You know, who the fuck does that? Who just lets this dime piece go? Now you all out here single and shit. <laughs> Somebody going to scoop you up. Scoop you up. But yeah, let me see. So let's see what we got coming in going out going on. Look at this prosperity sitting here on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Coming into all that money. And you got your boundaries up because that's what you've learned in this, in this, um, you know, throughout this karmic lesson was boundaries was of the most important for y'all because I feel like you didn't have any before. It was very loving, nurturing and maternal and caring for everyone. But I feel like now, you know, it's more of a priority for you to take care of yourself. Right now we got Atlantic Star Circles. So, yeah, you, you got your boundaries up because you're not going to let nobody play you for booboo the fool and have you going around in circles and be on those emotional roller coaster rides no more. You know, you're not going to be repeating those cycles again because you've learned these lessons. You've broken the yoke, as we saw. You've broken the generational curses. You definitely have um, cut the karmic cords. So, Divine Spirit, Love and Light, let's see what's coming and going out, going on. What did I say about you dealing with a past life love? And I feel like this is this person that you're going to be attracting and coming into a very spiritual union. So right now we got, um, we got MOP and this is called calm down. Yeah. So you calm down a lot. I feel like y'all was really emotional initially. Um, but you calm down a lot and we got independence here. And so this is what you all learned as well. I feel like you were definitely in a codependent relationship. Like I said, um, somebody definitely was, um, 
kind of like very controlling, wanted to control everything. And I feel like for you, many of you Scorpios, um, you kind of submitted a little bit in the relationship, but I feel like, you know, that submitting, you submitting ultimately turned into you becoming more subservient, more passive. And it was because this person, um, definitely was very like stoic, overbearing, controlling and damn near narcissistic. So I feel like when you freed yourself and you stood erect, um, and braved your light. I feel like you, you know, you establish a whole new foundation for yourself. And in this foundation, you have realized that your independent, your independence, um, was absolutely, um, very intricate. It was like very important, um, for you to have success, for you to have stability or even happiness and joy in your life. Can't let somebody sit around puppeteering your life. So you took the reins of your life. You was more assertive. And I feel like that independence has literally taken you like it, it's allowed for you to blossom it's allowed for you to believe in yourself again to believe in your dreams again to believe in those goals and not only believe in them but to to you know aspire you know to to reach those goals you know those goals those new endeavors so divine spirit what messages you have for our beloved scorpios from the goddess guidance deck divine spirit of love and light divine spirit of love and light thank you so receptivity be open you know because as we saw just now you got you know like your boundaries are up so you got like this big ass you know 12 foot steel wall and then you got the nerve to have barbed wire and then you got the nerve to have the spokes on top of the barbed wire so it's like you got this old impenetrable wall you know what i'm saying that won't allow things to come in you won't allow you to go out so it's like you got to be open to receive you know what i'm saying you got to be open because the divine is blessing you but you also have to trust your intuition you got to trust what you You've learned you've learned a lot so now you got to use what you've learned and apply it and you know you're a good judge of character trust yourself trust your inner gumption that's why that three I was picking up on the solar plexus because that's also about trusting your inner gumption you know you already have the answers that you're seeking so trust that trust that you know and calm down don't be so like you know rigid you know what I'm saying don't let nobody change who you are and so we have Forgive Them Father playing by Lauren Hill. So forgiveness is important for you all because many of y'all still are holding on to like a little bit of animosity and resentment. And it's because you was done so dirty and that's understandable. But I feel like the the, the mere mention of the person's name shouldn't have you like, <laughs> like <laughs> where you just like about to scream and shit. Because that's why MOP was like, yo, calm down. You know what I'm saying? So like remain calm and calm and <laughs> <laughs> Kame Kame um, and forgive you know forgiveness is for you anyway so next we have go outside take your asses outside how many times I got to tell my Scorpio I ain't seen this card in a while so y'all was going outside but go outside because I feel like you're going to get a lot of downloads it's going to be a lot of downloads and this is why the divine is telling you to be receptive you know what I'm saying? Maybe you all have been holed up in the house too long. I don't give a damn if it's cold or not. Go outside, take a walk. Even if it's just like a 30 minute walk around your complex, around your home, around the neighborhood, just get some fresh air. And it's one, 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 one. So that's five. So you need to change your environment. You know what I'm saying? Get out of the house. All right. On the bottom of the deck, this is what you did. Cycles and rhythms, ending, cutting those karmic cords. And you listen to your own body. You listen to the nudge. You know what I'm saying? Your heart. You listen to your mind. It was like y'all had to make decisions um, that you really didn't want to make, but you trusted the cycles and rhythms of your body. But you have to forgive the people that did you dirty, uh, um, whether they were family. I'm hearing strongly family. See, you had to become independent of these people, of these connections. And I feel like this is why you're standing so strong now, because you believe in yourself. You know, you believe in yourself. And you also have Mama Yemen out here. Beautiful mama yum and y'all opening up opportunities for you. So as I said, whatever was being blocked, you know what I'm saying? Whatever was being delayed, whoever was trying to block your blessings, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you cleansed yourself, when you started to implement those spiritual baths and those egg cleanses and you started to smudge your home and you started to mop your floors with the Florida water and the ammonia and all of that. And you started to sprinkle the black salt around your home. You started to make sure you had all of your, you know, everything, all your ducks in a row in terms of your protection. Um, I feel like that's when these opportunities started to flood in. And it's because you were in emotional equilibrium. You, you found balance. 
you know, you were you found balance. Whereas in the past, many of y'all was kind of like, like I said, y'all was kind of like frustrated and angry, and you know, you carried this 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 um this re resentment. It was almost like baggage. You know what I'm saying? It was like baggage. And so, you know, Lauren Hill saying, forgive them. You know, so divine spirit of love and light. <clears throat> On oh, spirit of love and light. What message do you have for Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. Honor the cycles and rhythms of your body. I feel like that's what you all definitely did. And so we have here segment. What did I say about y'all? Brave in your light. You know, leaning on your strength because that's all you had to lean on. You didn't have nobody to turn to. Everybody that you trusted, you you found out. Well, them motherfuckers was foo foo. They were sitting there lying in your face. You found out your homegirls were sitting there. You know siding with you with, with the person that was creeping on you knew all knew all about all the other women you know what i'm saying shit some of y'all found out your bestie was the other woman you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day what did this do this taught you how to be strong this is like i said that solar plexus this is what you all did you was courageous you were strong you demanded your respect you showed integrity you stood on your moral principles and values. You stood on your square. And so now you're in control. There's two lions here. Lions are the king of the jungle. So you definitely took the reins of your life and you chose the direction you was going to go. You didn't let anybody control you anymore. You took your power back. And this is what strength is. That's beautiful. And look at this. Look at that beautiful divine feminine. Remember that privileged lady? And I said she got the energy of that, you know, the empress, the divine feminine. Well, here you are. This is your energy. Divine feminine, divine masculine. This shows all of the work you have done. You've done so much work. And not only did you do the work, you showed a lot of love and compassion to the people around you. And you were simply taken advantage of. And now that you're in, you know, alignment, I feel like you are in your power you're manifesting now you're going to have some sort of success some sort of wish fulfillment and we have apollonia six and this is called sex shooter so somebody sees you as a very sexy and that's why i was picking up on that little raunchy energy earlier that somebody's like very attracted to you or they dream about having intimacy with you they see you as wish fulfillment they see you as getting your own coins, doing your own thing. Some of y'all got your own business, whatever that dream was. Some of y'all, it's going to be very successful. Not even some of y'all. It's going to be successful as long as you're following your dreams and your passions. You will have success because Scorpio is very resilient. You ain't afraid of hard work. You will multitask. You wear multiple hats. And I feel like you're going to manifest some sort of success and stability into your life. And this is why you're so attractive. You are very much, you know, in control. You got a lot of control here. You're very abundant as well. It's like everything you do, it's like it, it, it just turns to gold almost. It's like you got that Midas touch, you know, and it's because you now believe in yourself. You know, whatever this person was doing before, you know, to make you question yourself and who was living vicariously through you. I feel like now you, you own in this. It's like it's more than something that I wake up from. Believe. OK, I do. Thank you. That was like, you needed that. So, sex shooter. Really? Rising power, sister. Apollonia. That's from the color. Um, I said the color purple. From Prince's um, Purple Rain. She was the love interest in that. And that song, this song is from that. So, we got the garden and the gate. And there goes that three again. So you're mustering up the strength. See, this is somebody who was a little codependent, a little afraid, you know, kind of like, you know, content, you know, not willing to take risks, just kind of dreaming, daydreaming about what would it be like if I just left this gate and went out and ventured off into the world. It's like this is just dreaming, you know, staying in a comfort zone and not really, you know, going out and allowing yourself to have experiences. So I feel like there was a, a, a level of fear here. False expectations appearing real. Look at this. And it's because of all the lies and the deception. You know, this, this storm warning. I feel like somebody was lying to you. Like, if you go out that gate, you know what I'm saying? You might fuck around and somebody going to chop your head off or you won't you fall into a pit. Or, you know, it's just lying and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, it was, it was fear mongering. It was somebody gaslighting, manipulating, you know, just, you know, because they wanted you to stay put, you know, they wanted you to stay put because, you know, for them, it was, um, 
it was more beneficial for you to be there than to not be there because I feel like you, you know, you may have invested a lot. As I said, you definitely had like a very like nurturing and caring um, energy. And so nobody's going to want to let that go. God damn, that card flew out with so much force. There's three of them and it's the same card. Isn't that something? So this is your message. So someone was definitely like, I feel like trying to convince you that you just simply wasn't capable of doing something. That's why that independent card came out because it was like very codependent. And I feel like you started to believe some of the shit that they was telling you. You know, you started to believe it until you started to question, you know, in their absence because they would be gone so much. And so now it's like now there's this new venture, this new pathway. And it's because you chose to exit this, you know, this very, um, this very um, closed environment. You know, it was, it was like almost like suffering you, you know, it's almost like, you know, like a cage damn near. So next we have victory. See that victory. You're having victory over your enemies. You know, whoever this was that was lying, you're going to have a victory. They're going to sit here and they're going to have to watch you have some sort of breakthrough, some major success in your life. You may be coming into a marriage or a committed relationship. This is the number 28, which is 10. So you've turned your back on the liar. And now you're focused on your success, your stability, your happiness, your peace, your peace of mind. You know what I'm talking about? And this is a new beginning for you because you're moving forward. You're moving forward, upward, and onward. And that's what's leading to you having this victory. Because you're no longer allowing this person who is being duped by the devil, who is also wearing a mask, who is lying and deceiving you the whole time, to win. That's why they're being imprisoned. Because all of their gaslighting and the mind fuckery they was doing to you, they was getting done dirty the same way. And, and, not, and, and not they was getting done, like they just got duped and done dirty in the same way they was trying to dupe you. <clears throat> so let's see. Next we have anxiety. So this is how this person had you. All up in your head. And entrapped. Questioning your worth. Your self worth. Your abilities. Like telling you. Oh that. I don't think that's a good idea for you to go and. And, and um, get no studio equipment. We got bills. Or you know. I don't think you need to go and. And um. Get some, you know, take classes because, you know, you got to take care of the babies. It was just like they, everything you was trying to do to better yourself, they would be up, have you up in your head by, you know, trying to debunk, you know, whatever it is that you was trying to do. You know, it was going against the grain. And so you said enough of that shit. And this is a lot of like self-imposed as well because you was listening to somebody who was a goddamn did dunt dun You know what I'm saying? It's like you started to look at their life like, okay, all this shit you telling me, you ain't even doing so you had to start considering the source, as I said. But this anxiety, that's self-imposed. You know, nobody has that type of control over you unless you give it to them. And so I feel like you realize that. And it was also because you love them. And all the hurt and pain, like I said, you transmuted that shit into power. And you started to focus on your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. You started to revisit some of those, you know, some of those hobbies you had since stopped, you know, uh, you know, partaking in because you was in this loveless ass relationship, this whole non, you know, non requited ass love connection. You know, this person did break your heart, but that heartbreak led to your transformation. You changed your thoughts, your reality. You cut that shit off, and you're moving forward with a passion. You know, you're being passionate this time around. So, divine spirit of love and light, what messages you have for our beloved Scorpios from the energy oracle deck, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, spirit of love and light. Thank you. Look at that. Yin yang. Didn't I tell y'all? Y'all coming into a love connection. This person is going to be the yang to your yin. Yin to your yang. Divine partner. This person is someone is a wish fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that's going to bring balance and joy and peace and love into your life. And we got Layla James saying when you love somebody. And then the name of the album is called A Change Is Gonna Come. So this person is going to come in and you're going to feel completely elated. And your person, that ex person is going to be completely disturbed because that shit is going to hurt them. You got wish fulfillment here. Look at this. You're going to have your options. You're going to have your pick of the litter too. I feel like you're going to have a lot of options and it's going to be a, a hard decision for you to make. That's why I said you got to consider the source and also um, trust your own intuition. Like use discernment when you're choosing. 
You know, choose wisely. Don't just make any old quick ass decision. Look at this, the angel of love. So she's bringing love into your life. And this 22, look at that. That's 11, 11 again. So she's bringing not just any old love. She's bringing like a real true twin flame. And there goes four. That's also 11, 11. So this is a twin flame soulmate. This is a divine counterpart. This is a spiritual union. This is somebody that you're going to be able to eat. Eat with, lay with, pray with, play with. You know what I'm saying? And and you're going to also be able to have, um, you know, just a very beautiful, balanced connection. You're going to feel protected in this person's presence. You're going to feel like they got your back. You never felt that before. And you're going to feel that this time around. And I feel like when you love somebody, you're going to know how you are supposed to feel. Because this person is going to show you everything that wasn't shown to you, you know, from your former relationship. So this person is going to do a lot of things that you're not used to. You know, they may just pop up on you at your job and just buy you lunch. They may just gift you with flowers just because. You know what I'm saying? They may do some shit like, you know, you you, you get a, um, a gift on your first month anniversary, your second month anniversary, third month, all the way 12 months. Every month they acknowledge, you know, the, the connection, you know, that the two of you have been cultivating. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's, this is beautiful. I just, oh my God, the love I'm feeling, this is beautiful. And it's because your angel and guys, what did I say about your ancestor, spirit God, your angel, like really conspiring behind the scene to bring you into a very profound and very beautiful love partnership. And you're going to feel like this is wish fulfillment. And this person is as well. So this card just flew out. So this is the message. So you are love. Your love is one in a million. And I feel like, you know, as we said, divine timing, good things take time to create. And this is what you was being prepared for. You was being prepared for a relationship, a connection. My nose is itching like crazy. So somebody's definitely going to be nosing in your business and they're going to discover this shit. And this is what's going to make them sick in the head and in the heart, you know, and they're going to be realizing like, damn, if I loved you, I should have treated you better. And this is that adjudication. They're going to find out that y'all getting married. Y'all going to get hitched. Y'all going to jump the broom. Y'all going to have a ceremony of some sort. You know, like a, a um, commitment ceremony for some of you all who don't believe in going to the courthouse and getting married and having the paperwork and going through the legal process. I feel like some of y'all are going to just have like a very unique ceremony where it's just like you and maybe an elder that you enlist that has the ability to, you know, bring you into union. And that's what y'all are going to do. But I definitely feel somebody's going to be up in their head when they find out about this shit, because like I said, somebody's going to get that word like. Yo, did you hear? And that shit is going to crush this person to the point where they might not come back. Like I said, because they're going to be questioning everything that they did. You know, they're going to question everything that they did. Like, how the fuck did I do that? And the change that's coming. Look at this. You got the 44 again. You can't make this shit up. This 44. What did I say? Your angels, ancestors. Some of y'all have a mother or a grandmother or an aunt, a feminine energy, an angel, maybe a deity that you work with like Yemen Yah or Oshun or Oya or maybe Lakshmi. Uh, but you all are working with someone and she's bringing you this love connection. I feel like she's absolutely conspiring. Um, she's also helped you to heal yourself, helped you to come back into union, back into equilibrium with you, you know, because you got lost in the sauce in that last relationship. But now you have such a profound love of self that this is what you're radiating right now. And this is why you're shining bright because you have like, it's almost like you, you came out better than you ever were, you know, but this 44, you're right. Like you're absolutely coming into a divine partnership. Some of y'all may have just turned 44. Some of you all could have um, had a solar return on um, November 8th, you know, November 4th. Um, so let's see. Divine Spirit 11 Light. What additional messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? Why is this guilty? And right now we got ones, ones for the money. And this is by Shaheen. So one's for the money. Yeah, this person was for the money. They was for, you know, all this superficial shit. Somebody gaslighted them was like, yeah, I got money. I can do this for you. Do that for you. And that's why somebody's in prison now because they was realized that whoever they was dealing with was fucking doing some old, you know, like um, bank fraud or they was doing them swipes. 
and all that shit. And now somebody going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like they realize like somebody was definitely not who they pretended to be. And it's because they didn't take enough time to get to know the motherfucker. So now you got ones for the money. So this person was for the money. They was for all that superficial shit. Nice car, nice clothes, jewelry, hair weave, nails, fucking lashes, dudes in the fucking $300 Gucci sneakers and $400 belts and all of that shit was what enticed them that drew them in but then they realized all of this shit is hot <laughs> they didn't buy none of that shit they was swiping people's cards they was stealing motherfuckers information at their jobs they facing jail time like fed time for the shit they was doing because it was all about the money the coins and now we got community look at this you had a lot of team you know a lot of work you know, a lot of your angels and ancestors were putting in a lot of work behind the scenes to assist you, to guide you. I feel like your person failed to listen to their intuition also. You know what I'm saying? And, and now that they're listening to it, it's a little bit too late. But they didn't trust their own intuition. And I feel like, you know, you, on the other hand, you did. And when you listen to your ancestors and your guides tell you that this shit was not for you, 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 you fell in line. You was obedient, you know, and that's what ultimately broke you free and, you know, helped you to avoid some sort of like toxic shit. You know, have you all caught up in some crazy, dumbass drama that this person was, you know, creating? But you see these orbs, you know, that definitely speaks to like, you know, ancestral presence, spiritual presence, your guides, your angels. And so we have here, look at this, the magician and the mirror. So this is the energy of your person. You know, they was used to manipulating and duping and, you know, ostracizing you from your family, your friends, just playing a lot of games. And now it's like they done got played by the, the master manifester of them all, whoever the karmic was. You know, this is somebody who was manipulating energy, as I said. So I was feeling earlier somebody was putting some goddamn spell work and hexes and witchcraft and voodoo and all of that shit on somebody. And this is just confirming it. But this also shows you transmuting all of that negativity and turning that shit into your into your your you know into your good into something good into something magical and powerful for you so here we have envy now they envious they jealous this could be the karmic this could be that ex but somebody's jealous and envious of you why because your ass is over here shining bright and shit you did it's like now you're blinding them with your light you know what i'm saying they looking at you like look at this motherfucker go like goddamn like you're ascending you're growing you're evolving and you're a solid person you're humble on top of that you got a good heart you're not all boastful you ain't a braggadocious so this person's really like envious and jealous and remember i was showing y'all that this person had um you know that devil on their shoulder and they was listening to the wrong motherfuckers didn't listen to you at all and that's why they was led astray into the fucking abyss and now here you are you're glowing and they're like wishing and singing there shoulda coulda wouldas because they're watching you have some sort of success you're being rewarded and they're watching you walk away this is you ending the cycle completing the karmic lesson and saying i'm done i'm fin you trusted what you felt you knew that you you know there was no more going forward with this this 29 is the number 11 so a lot of y'all definitely you know, follow the spiritual guidance of your ancestors and also answer the inner callings of yourself. You know, you knew that it was time to end the cycle. You knew that this situation was not serving you any longer. And so that's why you made the decision to walk away for once and for all, because you have to start living your truth. You have to start prioritizing your life and you are searching, you know, for your divine masculine and you know that they're out there. So now we have, who is this? This is no um, notorious B.I.G. This is called the what? So now you're looking for somebody, you know, that's going to have, you know, tick all them boxes, you know, speak your love language. You know what I'm saying? You're looking for that, that it factor. You're looking for that oomph in that person. You know, I feel like whoever you was dealing with, like, you know, this person initially didn't think, you know, that you was going to be able to move on. And now they're absolutely going to realize or discover that not only did you move on, but you could potentially be moving on to into some sort of partnership. And so somebody going to be like, yo, did you hear about Scorpio's marriage? You know, did you hear about Scorpio's engagement? Did you hear about Scorpio? And they're going to be like, Scorpio's what? The what? <laughs> sick, love sick, heartbroken, pain, agony, walked away. I mean, 
I don't blame you. I don't. I do not. Because it's like, you got to treat people the way you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's not the deck I wanted. I'm sorry about that. I want to get the numerology. I want to get a couple more messages. I'm sorry. I'm feeling like I want to give y'all a couple more messages. <clears throat> And so this is what I'm going to ask y'all because I'm not making no separate video. So if you are interested in, um, you know, winning this wand, remember the wand I was speaking to you all about for the past couple of videos. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, if you are interested, just leave like your, just say me, me, me or whatever. Say I'm interested in the wand. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just like write down all the names. I'm going to put those names into a, like a, a bowl and then I'm going to on camera um, I don't think I'll do a live. I don't know. Um, but I'll just on camera, you'll see me, you know, uh, select and choose the name and then I'll make a separate video and then you'll see if, whether or not you want. OK, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it simple. OK, but um, let's just get like three messages. I'm hearing three. And so we have spiritual partnership. What did I say? You're coming into a spiritual partnership. This is your, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. This is past life connection. This could be somebody that you already know that you have that type of like deep chemistry and synergy with. And it's because look at that. You're taking lead of your life. When you when you start moving, you know what I'm saying? When you start moving the way you're supposed to move, it's like you change the whole vibration, Scorpios. I feel like you taking your control back, taking your power back from that manipulative ass, lying ass ex. That's when you shifted. You just shifted everything. Your consciousness shifted. Your energy, your vibration shifted. And nobody can do nothing but respect it. That's why they sick, man. That's why they are sick. And that's why they like, they what? You know what I'm saying? They what? They, they married. They engaged. They moving. What are you talking about? Look at that. Change. You're, you're, you're experiencing so much change. And it's because you're changing. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. We're going to get three messages from this and we're going to wrap it up for real this time. So we have here nature. So this is also, you know, veggie backing off of Cordelia's message, which is telling you take your asses outside, Scorpios. You know what I'm saying? There's some divine downloads waiting for you. This is number 11. So you got to go down there. You got to be open to receive, you know, this, um, Solar eclipse. I feel like y'all gonna receive some sort of downloads. You know, I feel like y'all need to go out in nature, sit amongst the trees, because there's gonna be some messages that come through for you. You know, it's food for thought is what I'm hearing. See that transformation. This is what you all are experiencing. So you've gone through major change, life changes, and that's very obvious with the world card. So every ending denotes a new beginning. This is the rebirth. So you have reincarnated yourselves. You have transformed. And you've gone through amazing, amazing changes. And now you are in your power. You're in control. Highly intuitive. Very psychic. Clairvoyant. Like you are very powerful. We got Mr. Messed Up playing. So Mr. Messed Up. This is by Flowetry. The divine is telling you to have some compassion, ladies, for that person that messed up. Okay, have some compassion for them because they know it and they're really they're 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 taking it hard. You may not know this because they're not communicating it. Um, because they're very proud. Whoever whoever y'all dealing with, they're proud and 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 just because you don't hear, I feel like y'all know. Y'all know they watching y'all. Y'all know they listening to shit. Y'all know they spying and stalking and shit. Like y'all know because they're in your presence heavily. Like they're in your energy heavily. I feel it. But you also got new energy coming in. And if you can feel their energy, trust and believe, the ex can feel that new person coming in as well. They can feel how happy you are. Divine is saying show compassion. You know, just let them go. Let them free. Remember, you had forgive them. Also, look at this, leadership. So you guys are the leaders. You're born leaders. And I also feel like y'all are the teachers. You're, you're, you're brought into this person's life to teach them just like they taught you how to love yourself and set boundaries. Well, you're teaching them how to speak their truth, how to be transparent, how to be honest. You know what I'm saying? How to be their authentic selves and to take off those masks they've been rocking for all of their lives. So you're a leader. And this is something that they're like, you know, it's almost like they admire it, but they are envious of it as well. Because the way they was trying to lead, it was in a very selfish way. But the way that they see you leading is like, 
you're still humble. You're still grounded. You're still balanced. I'm trying to find this envy card. So this is what they're envious of, that you are in control. You know, that you all have some level of success and that you are satisfied. You know, you, you've completely changed from the person that they were used to. You completely changed. This could be the father or mother of your child. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever this new person that's coming in could become the father or mother of your child. You could be having a child soon with somebody. But this Mr. Messed Up, I do feel like somebody also, um, like I said with that earlier message, somebody could be getting this message like, yo, I'm pregnant. And they've been with that person for a whopping three months. And now they feel so stupid. They feel foolish. It was like a sword to the chest, you know. And I'm going to get two more messages. Let's just go ahead and get two more. All right. Okay. Do I? No, I'm not taking all these. I'm not. That was about 45 cards. <clears throat> Let's give it a bang, bang, boogie. And then we're going to wrap it up for real, y'all. <laughs> I've been holding y'all hostage. Like, don't go. Don't go. Don't go yet. All right. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. We get two more messages for our beloved Scorpios. Thank you. See that? Completion. Can't make this up. Completion came out several times. But you have completed this cycle. And you will be rewarded. You are being congratulated. You're getting a standing ovation right now from your spirit team, beloveds. They are very proud of y'all. And I'm feeling that. Like they are smiling on you guys. And that's why you are going to be manifesting your dreams, hopes, and desires. Some of you all was using that 8-8 eight, eight portal. Some of y'all solar returns was 8-8. Eight, eight. Maybe during December 8th, y'all going to get some sort of blessing or on the 8th day, the 8th month. Whatever the case may be, I definitely feel like a lot of y'all started to transmute that pain and that, you know, and turned it into power. Learned to become the alchemist, become that, you know, that magician. You know, because remember, like I said, you know, that that shining star energy is someone who is a magician. And this is someone who knows how to manifest their thoughts into reality. You see how he's manipulating this fire and the water. So it's like you're bringing in, you know, something that's going to bring you a lot of passion and desire and also some emotional equilibrium. But you've manifested something here. So that's beautiful. And then we have adventure. So be adventurous, you know. Step outside of your comfort zone. I feel somebody's also going to take you out of this, um, you know, because remember you had receptive, be receptive. So I feel like, you know, you're going to come out of that, that energy of being so reserved and, you know, so, um, you know, so um, antisocial, so to speak. And you're going to be more adventurous. You're going to be willing to take risks. You're going to be willing to, you know, be more daring to do things, fun things. Uh, right now we have the get back playing by uh, fabulous uh so yes yeah, somebody's trying to figure out how to get you back but i also feel like this is the get back this is somebody's karma for how they treated you well without you trying to hurt them back i feel like they're going to be hurt by you coming into this uh divine partnership this is the get back this is how the divine works what you put out in the universe you get back they're going to see you getting back the good karma that you received and this abundance is here now See that? So first you got manifestation. So you've been manifesting something and what you're manifesting is this abundance. So you have financial freedom. You have emotional um, fulfillment. You have success. You have a twin flame, a divine partner of some sort. Somebody is trying to figure out how to get you back. They're sitting here thinking about it. They realize and they didn't appreciate your ad when they had. Look at that. He's like, damn, I had her in my hands. I had her. And then I let her slip away. You know what I'm saying? It's like, God damn, how do I get my Scorpio back? How do I get him back? I had him, but I let him slip away. And it's because they didn't appreciate you, you know? And now you like, <laughs> you don't deserve me, boo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got your back turned like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. Look at this. Like, nope, I'm good. I love me better than you ever did. I could love me better than you. You know what I'm saying? And I could do bad by myself. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I'm going to end it there. You're coming into union with somebody who got their eyes on you, got their coins right. This is a very beautiful connection. But this is beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Um, so like I said, if you're interested in um, winning this wand, I wish the lighting was better. But if you're interested in getting this wand, um, just leave your name and just say something as simple as I'm interested in a wand cue or something like that. And then I'm going to take down the names and I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to shuffle it and shake it and do all that good stuff. And then on camera, I'll show you the name that I pick out and you'll be gifted with the uh, wand. 
And this is just my way of saying thank you for helping to grow the channel. Um, for anybody who's been interested in those personals, I'm not doing personals. Spirit sat my ass down and was like, nah, you ain't doing that. This is this is what you do. Um, and so, um, yeah, I, 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 I was premature previously in, in saying I would be doing them. But um, Spirit told me that's a no-no. So I'm not going to be doing no personals. Um, this is what I do. I give you all two hour damn near video, two hour long videos. And this is my contribution to my beloved Scorpios. I love y'all to give y'all a very in-depth reading. Um, and this is just the way I say thank you. And y'all thank me by liking the videos. Y'all thank me by, you know, sharing the video, by commenting. And that's just the reciprocation. I try to respond to each and every one of your um comments because I just I don't like to leave somebody's comment in a red I hate that but it's like damn it's, it's so many comments now it's like overwhelming and um you know and I want to be uh, like you know I want to engage you know like whatever you're commenting I don't want to leave no generic um, messages um you know so I try to get to what I can but I do apologize if you've noticed that I have not been like commenting back but I do appreciate you all so much you don't even understand it I love you guys um but thank you so much for growing the channel I appreciate you if you are new here hope you stay a while um and if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love, it's love, it's love. Until next time, send a big fat eye shape. Peace.